I'm going to introduce our next guest. It's Virginia Ann Harris. She is with CoffeeBreakReaders.com, which I just love, and the author of a new book called The Privilege of Voting, a fun way to find out the sexy, shocking truth of how Alice Paul and her army of suffragettes really won the vote. Virginia, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. I love this concept that you've taken history and made it sexy and shocking for us. Perhaps that will get more women involved in reading and learning about our history. I hope so. I mean, um, the women in history, uh, if they uh, stand out in history, it probably means they were pretty interesting. And um, the privilege of voting, uh, the women who are in the privilege of voting are no exception. They are very, very entertaining. In a nutshell, tell me about the kinds of um, historical characters that we will see in the book. Well, I, I, um, the, it is an ensemble biography. And uh, it has eight characters. I like to think of them as the desperate housewives of 1912 to 1920. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the story is told in a series of sequential short stories. They're called Coffee Break Readers because it's, it, they're all short stories. They take about 10 minutes to read. And um, in the course of the entire book, which runs from 1912 to 1920, there are 52 episodes. So you could essentially read this book on your coffee break, hence right. the title Coffee right. Break So Leaders. I like to say that we're serving up women's history steaming hot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, women, the women really are hot, all of them. And, and the suffragettes as well. I mean, not necessarily in a sexual way, the suffragettes, but um, definitely hot women. You, you heard the piece that Christina did for us earlier on Alice Paul and talk about how she was such a controversial figure. And, and some even considered her a divisive figure at the time because other women women didn't necessarily always agree with the way that she approached things, but have you ever known a character that had more passion in, in her belief for something? Well, she spent, um, she, she was a, a scholar and she was a political scientist and she discovered a method in England when she was in England with the Pankhursts, who are, are also featured in this book, and her experience with the Pankhursts that predates her coming to America and doing the work that she did here. Um, she was a scholar and when she saw something that worked, she brought it to America and she made it work. And it was, it was hard going and it was hard to convince people that it was the right way, but it was the right way. It in addition to Alice Paul, who, who else do you highlight in the book that uh, we should, as well, women, know about? It, it, it's a great book, if I may say so. It's not because I wrote it, but because the women are so interesting. Um, the women are the two leading suffragettes, the British suffragettes and the American suffragettes, um, two presidential mistresses, Warren Harding's mistress and Woodrow Wilson's mistress. And we find out what role they played in the attitudes these presidents had toward women. Um, Edith Wharton, the um, Jacqueline Suzanne of her time, <laughs> and she was really a scandalous um, high society novelist. Isadora Duncan, who was quite a scandal as the barefoot dancer going all around the world uh, and shocking everyone, but they loved her. Alice Roosevelt was Teddy Roosevelt's daughter, and she was a pistol, uh, to mm -hmm. put it mildly and uh, my own great-grandmother who came here from Sweden and worked as a housekeeper in the home of the, the gentleman who would have been considered the Karl Rove of his time. <laughs> Gosh, we had them then too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your mission? What, what do you hope to accomplish by writing the book? Well, I want women to know uh, our history and when I realized you know, at, at a fairly advanced age that I had no idea how women won the vote. I mean, I knew we did, right. but I didn't know how. I thought, well, if I don't know, then probably a lot of other people don't. And when I found out it was such an exciting story, I was so inspired to share it. So, uh, And I wanted to do it in a way that would work for today's women. So I, the Coffee Break Readers concept well, other than that. Other than YouTube, then a Coffee Break <laughs> <laughs> book would do it. <laughs> so Virginia, we wish you the best of luck with that. Thanks Thank so you. much for sharing it with us. We're going to have some information available to our viewers. If, uh, if you uh, want to get more information on the book, uh, we have a website for you. So Thank we'll you. be glad to pass that along for you. And if you